Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at pretty much every rumor surrounding the next update to New Horizons that is currently being talked about within the community. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now coming to the end of May in Animal Crossing New Horizons and about to enter the final month of the new content that was added in the most recent 1.10 update. The latest update that was released at the back end of April pretty much added three months worth of mini seasonal events and two months worth of holidays with June being the second of the two months and seeing the wedding season return. Now given the wedding season is pretty much the final holiday currently set to return to New Horizons is about this time Nintendo typically announces what's next for the game. So for that reason there's a certain expectation that Nintendo will be revealing something over the next month or so, most likely at E3 2021 that Nintendo attends every year, which is of course scheduled for the second week of June. Because of this and a combination of hints uncovered in recent data mines and the general hopes of the community, there's been quite a build up of rumours surrounding what we could see in an upcoming announcement if there is one. So I thought it'd be fun to go through them. Of course I'd like to point out this video video is highly speculative and is more of a rundown of current rumours than anything else so if you tend to avoid speculation or don't want to hear what's being discussed this video may not be for you. With that said it's quite exciting talking about what the community thinks we'll see so here are 5 rumours about the next New Horizons update. Number 1 Brewster of course, this will be no surprise, so we may as well get him out of the way first. One of the biggest rumours is that Brewster and the Roost Cafe will be returning to New Horizons in the next update. As players who have played previous Animal Crossing games will know, Brewster runs the local coffee house and introduced a whole new mechanic to the franchise by being able to serve and drink coffee. It's a pretty cool mechanic to be honest because every single villager in the game takes their coffee differently, which makes it quite fun to work out who likes what. Hint, hint. Isabel likes mocha with three spoonfuls of sugar. Anyway, it's being highly anticipated for a while now, but the vast majority of the community are expecting to see Brewster return, likely with the roost, whenever the next update is announced. Personally, as much as I'd like to see him added, I'm not sure Nintendo would include a coffee drinking mechanic in what will likely be a summer update, but I could be wrong. For that reason, this is definitely more of a hope than a rumor that carries any weight. Number two. Happen. Now whilst we're on the subject of special NPCs that never made the transition to New Horizons, another popular rumour has surfaced pretty much since the first anniversary in that Cap'n and his boat will return in the next update. Ever since the original, Cap'n has been the go-to character to transport us to a smaller tropical island south of the town. Typically he waits patiently by the dock and takes players to meet the local islander or to an island resort where you can play a bunch of minigames with or without friends. Now as far as I know, unlike Brewster, there hasn't really been anything in data mines to suggest he is returning, but rather the speculation surrounding the dock and the fact we're likely close to a summer update, the community is expecting Cap'n would be the perfect character to return with his sailboat for the summer season. Out of all the rumours, this seems to carry the least weight, but it does make you wonder if there will be a use for the dock in the future other than to catch a couple of fish. But what do you think? Will Nintendo surprise us with a Cap'n update? Let us know in the comments. Number 3 Fence Customization now moving away from characters that the community are hoping Nintendo will announce in a future update, another popular rumour that seems to be sparking a lot of interest is of course the fence customization. We have mentioned this before so I won't go into too much detail, but for those that missed it, some keywords were uncovered in recent data mines that suggest a mechanic to customise fences could be added to the game in the future. Of course we know New Horizons is all about customising and offers more customization than any previous Animal Crossing game does, so it's not unreasonable reasonable to think fence customization could be added. As far as rumours go, this carries probably the most weight given it currently exists in the game's code, but please remember this doesn't mean it will come to fruition. It may be nothing more than a scrapped mechanic or something they're just testing. With that said, typically things uncovered in data mines like this do come to light in future updates, so it's entirely possible fence customization could be announced in the next update whenever that may be. Number 4 Amiibo Cards 
Now, another rumor that gets me quite hyped in all honesty is that Nintendo may be working on a new batch of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards and will be announcing them at E3. This is probably a bit of a stretch, but in short, there has been reports of Amiibo IDs being skipped over, which follows the same pattern as previous Amiibo IDs used for the 450 plus Amiibo cards released alongside Animal Crossing in the past. There's a whole article that explains it in far more detail, which I'll link below, but basically it suggests these IDs that are currently unassigned to Amiibo could be reserved for new Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. Unfortunately, other than this speculation, there's no real evidence of this, although it's important to remember New Horizons is missing a whole bunch of villagers from past games, as well as special crossover characters that have yet to return. Furthermore, it's been suggested that if this new line of Amiibo exists, it could bring some of the classic furniture items from past games back with them, much like the e-reader cards did back in the day, but unfortunately I don't think there's any evidence to actually support this. Number 5. Zelda Crossover now speaking of missing villagers and animals, another rumour that seems to be getting more and more traction over the last few weeks is a Zelda crossover. As you may know, 2021 marks the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda and outside of the Animal Crossing universe, there is quite a lot of talks and supposed leaks surrounding a Zelda announcement at E3 next month. With this in mind, rumours are suggesting that if Animal Crossing New Horizons sees an announcement at the E3 event, it could incorporate a Zelda crossover too in celebration of this huge huge milestone. Now as far as I know nothing official has been announced or even hinted at but we have seen Zelda crossovers with Animal Crossing in the past. Zelda items such as the Master Sword were available as far back as the original but even as recent as New Leaf Zelda themed villagers were introduced such as Wolf Link and Ganon. Plus the fact we've seen both Sanrio and Super Mario crossovers, it's not unreasonable to think a Zelda crossover could be next. Unfortunately, unlike the fence customization, there's no real evidence to support this just yet. So there we have it, that was all the rumours or the most significant rumours that most people are talking about right now that many people believe we will see in the next update that could be announced as soon as E3. But what do you think about these rumours? Will Nintendo announce these characters and features at next month's E3 or will they continue with a small update cycle in the coming months? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway for now that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I could and do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too and of course if you made it to the end of the video please comment update just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include when you think we'll see the next update and what you think it will include. I'd love to know. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching I hope you have an amazing day stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.